So what's up guys? Thought I'd show you, do a quick video here. I'm gonna be showing you my music setup, my instruments, my pedals, all kind of stuff. So gear, instruments, and anything like that. So start over here. Got the black acoustic. Got the classical. That's the 12 string, which is broken, by the way. That's the uh, old classic Fender bass. And uh, then we got, uh, a, that's a Squire. That'd be a Squire, Fender Squire, I think. Yep. Then uh, this one's uh, got green strings on it. So orange bass with green strings. Move over here. The ukulele, ukulele. Got the old Epiphone, look like a Les Paul. It is a Les Paul, but it's not the actual, whatever the other one's called. Can't even remember. It's a violin. I'll leave it in the comment if you can remember. I can't remember what you call it. Uh, crap, what do you call it? Similar to the Epiphone, the other one. You got the Les Paul, but there's like a, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but yeah, it's electric drums. This is where all the magic comes in. You got the uh, old Fender amp, you got an Ibanez, which is pretty nice. Kind of a smaller electric. You got this pedal right here. Turn the flashlight on so you can see it better. It's right here. It has a bunch of different settings on it, so <clears throat> use these two right here. You press them at the same time. You get your tuner. You press them again, it turns it off. You press these two at the same time. It'll turn your loop pedal on. You do that, it turns it off. You can use this as a volume pedal or a wall pedal. You've got your overdrive. I believe you can click on that if the loop pedal's off and it will put your overdrive on. So that's the Box GT1. Of course I got this over here too. That's the uh, PA system. But this is the other Box RC1. So with that pedal right there, I definitely like it a lot better. This one's pretty neat too. And uh, kind of dirty down here, needs some dusting. But and we got a Yamaha keyboard, got the microphone right here, all hooked up to the PA through the loop pedal, so I can loop stuff on the piano. Got the uh, sustain pedal down there, got a vacuum cleaner. Need to use it to get this dust up. It's kind of broken a little bit. Anyway. You know what you could probably do is just wipe it off like that. There we go. Give it some cleaning. That looks better. I'm going to get this dust off my hand. Yeah, it's got a lot of dust on it. Vacuum that off real quick. Got the dust off my hand. That vacuum's handy. And uh, I got my little power strip there to hold everything in. I guess I'll show you the stuff I got. Uh, this is my drum amp. I don't think I showed. I think I'm going to show. I got some rosin for the violin bow. We got the harmonica. I'm not sure what the key this is in. This is in, I have no idea what key this thing is in. Uh, I don't see the key on it anywhere. G, I think it's in G. Yeah, key of G, I think. Got some picks over here, slide, capos, 
and uh, this right here, good old guitar polish, man. I recommend this. It'll make your instruments look really nice. I shot a video of me playing all my instruments, and I used that and polished them all off and made them look real nice. Yeah, so that's pretty much my setup right there. A lot of wires over here, but yeah. So thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later.